My guest is Charles Mitzi, CEO of Residency Malta Agency, the official management body for the popular Mediterranean Islands Residency by Investment program. Charles, I'm sure many viewers will be aware of Malta's attractions as a holiday destination, but beyond that, what attracts people to become residents? Yes, Malta is a fantastic destination. We have a wonderful climate with 300 days of sunshine. Our outdoor life is fantastic. The nightlife is second to none, and our cuisine is top notch. We are very well connected with daily flights to the major airports. Communication is also very easy because we are an English speaking nation. But when looking for somewhere to live, people think about the future of their families. They want to make sure that they give better education to their children and they have the comfort in knowing that they are in a country that has one of the top five healthcare services in the world. People also look for safety and security. And Malta offers all of this. Of course, they are also thinking about their business. We have a pro business climate and government offers full support to entrepreneurs. You offer a permanent residency program. What benefits does it offer and what makes it unique? So as I said, people are often thinking about their families, which are at the heart of our program. The MPRP is also one of the few that offers residency from day one. You also get access to the real estate market by buying or leasing a home. In fact, the MPRP is one of the few that gives the opportunity to lease. It gives you the chance to discover the island. And of course, as a resident of Malta, you will be entitled to visa-free travel across the Schengen area for 90 days every 180 days. So I need to either lease or buy a property. What other requirements are there for the scheme? Apart from acquiring a property, you make additional contributions depending on the property you opt for. One must also make financial contribution, which goes to the government's consolidated fund. On top of that, you make a donation to a registered NGO. We also require residents to have a health insurance that offers cover in Malta. And finally, we capture biometric data to issue the residence card. Now, for you as the official government body behind this program, it's not enough that people tick all those boxes. There are also some important due diligence checks that you carry out. Yes, due diligence is the backbone of our program. It is uh, the basis of our strong reputation. It starts with the KYC, which is done by the licensed agent. Then once the application is submitted to us, we carry out checks for completeness and correctness of all the documentation we have in hand. We also conduct further due diligence checks on open sources, police checks, including the Interpol and Europol. And we look at the source of wealth and source of funds of each applicant. We conduct checks on dependents, donors, benefactors, and business associates. In the meantime, we also commission a background verification report from international due diligence companies. And finally, our specialized analysts prepare a report which is presented to the Board of Approvals. Once an application is approved, the applicant is subject to annual compliance and ongoing monitoring. The agency also has the right to revoke a permit in case of any wrongdoing by the applicants at any point in time after approval. So if I'm looking at Malta as a residency option, where do I start? So you start on our website. There is a full list of licensed agents and you need to choose one from there. The agents will guide you to fill in an application form. They collate all the required documentation and then submit an application on your behalf. Then we conduct due diligence. We promise a four to six month time frame to give a reply on each and every application we receive. Permanent residency is just one of the programs you offer. Tell me about the Digital Nomad Permit and also the Startup Residency Program coming later this year. The Nomad Residence Permit is for non-EU nationals. They can apply for a one-year temporary permit to work remotely from Malta, which can be renewed up to two times. It is designed for those people who work for an employer registered abroad or are self-employed with a business registered abroad and also for those who offer freelance services to clients registered outside of Malta. The Malta Startup Residence Programme will be for third country nationals, non-EU nationals who want to use Malta as a launchpad for business. Malta is the perfect ecosystem for startups and micro-businesses. Government offers a lot of support to businesses, such as financial grants. We are a small country, but fully developed market. Being an English-speaking nation also helps a lot. Malta is very well connected to other countries. We also have a very strong broadband infrastructure, and we are also blessed to have highly skilled workers. Thanks for watching. Learn more at residencymalta.gov.mt. Click now for more videos from Europe, and please subscribe for the latest international business insights from worldfinance.com.